What are some of the burning problems or pain points that you have seen enterprises or developers uh, or business unit leaders uh, have to grapple with? Just being able to access the data that they need to be able to feed into an AI application can be a massive challenge. And this is where data silos come in and data catalogs could help if they exist and data governance needs to be thought through. And you really have to rethink your approach to data to properly unlock value in AI. So part one, data. Part two, governance. Um, right. Understanding that, yes, we have all of the data, but that doesn't necessarily mean that all of it should go into the AI um, or that if we're going to use it in AI, maybe we need different AIs for different purposes. We need something that sits in between that can govern appropriately from data all the way through to AI to make sure that there's consistency in who gets to see what or use what for, for what purposes. Um, beyond that, you know, it, there's a little bit of a skills hurdle. A lot of folks, um, a lot of organizations I've been working with are using their existing data science teams and expecting them to upskill quickly into how to do this. And if your data science teams up to this point have primarily been using structured data and now you have this unstructured natural language problem, it's a different skill set. And so there's a bit of a gap in terms of skills and talent. Um, and then, you know, frankly, the the next hurdle comes in the deployment and thinking about interfacing with teams you maybe didn't interface with, like your risk officers and your compliance team, and your legal team, and, you know, all of these folks that are super important to make sure that if you're going to deploy this, it's not going to cause problems down the line. Um, and there's an education gap there as well, right? These are systems that your, your CISOs, your you know, risk officers, your compliance teams have never looked at, have never worked with, don't necessarily understand. Um, it increases your potential attack surface and in security in a way that you know was not anticipated. So there's an upskilling that's going on beyond the development team. And then there's the the business itself. You know, as you go to deploy this, thinking about the user experience that you're crafting and the way that the business needs to be involved in the process of developing, iterating, retraining. But when you look at some of these AI systems that require um, an, an understanding and arbitration of truth or correctness, yeah. that only comes from the business, right? Yeah. Um, and so the business needs to be involved yeah. in this and understand that it's not going to always get it right. And when it doesn't, you can help fix it. 